Hi! If 2020 has taught me nothing else, it has taught me to be creative and adaptive. And um, one of those things that resulted of that was me just publishing the book Bidding Wars. It was a project that I've been working on for a while and I just wanted it out in the world. So now it is. Uh, the other piece I had kind of hoped that would go along with that would be some kind of book tour. Um, but the way I published it comes with no budget for that. So um, this is my virtual book tour. I remember the very first kind of author signing I saw was at a Walden Books. Like that. Um, used to be in malls um, in Ann Arbor where I grew up. And I remember seeing this guy sitting at this card table outside of a Walden Books with a stack of books like these sitting in front of him. And I walked by and just kind of talked to him. I was probably 14 and I was just kind of amazed that this person had written a book and here he was. Um, I'd read lots of books at that point, but that was really the first time I remember actually meeting an author and having a chance to talk to him. Um, since then, you know, um, lots of other places I used to spend time at Borders, which is closed, uh, but their headquarters was downtown Ann Arbor. Um, the last author I remember seeing there was probably Robert Jordan. Um, Ann Arbor has all kinds of wonderful bookstores and the past bookstores have come and gone. Um, currently there's like Literati and uh, Crazy Wisdom and Bookbound. Uh, there's a West Side Bookshop. Um, I'm probably missing one. Uh, Shaman Drum I don't think exists anymore, uh, but they were one that I enjoyed as well. Uh, but if I'm being totally honest, the two bookstores I probably spent the most time at in Ann Arbor um, would be Dave's Books, which was upstairs, um, and it just was packed with used books. And then my favorite, probably the one I spent the most time in, was Don Trader, uh, which was new and used, um, all kinds of stuff, very narrow walkways. Um, you had to kind of talk with the staff to figure out where things were. Um, and they knew just off the top of their head where everything was. It was amazing. Um, and so if I were to start my book tour, that would be it. I would go to Dawn Trader. I would set up camp right out here, right out in front of the store, which is where they um, put out uh, these racks of books at discount rates in the morning, and then they wheel them back in at night. Um, and I would sign books and talk to people as they walked by. Uh, Ann Arbor is a wonderful town for that kind of thing, and it'd be fun to, to go back home and to see people and to, to kind of start it off there. Um, from there, um, assuming unlimited budget, because why not? You know, this is virtual. I would head to New Jersey um, to see my brother Sean and go to Joseph Fox Books. Um, technically, Philadelphia, I know, but uh, Sean lives right on the right on the border between uh, Philly and New Jersey, so um, I think you'd let me pass on that. And then from there I'd head to DC. I'm sure I should probably go to New York or something, but I don't really know that many people in New York. So um, Anthony is a, a friend of mine who lives in the DC area, and he had mentioned Hole in the Wall books, but they closed recently, so not that one. So we'd probably go to Scroll Books instead. And um, Set of camp outside of there too. You know, maybe just have some coffee, sit with a stack of books, talk to people as they come by. Um, from there, I would head to Tennessee. Uh, my brother Ryan lives in Chattanooga, and Starline Books is their independent bookstore. Uh, super cool place, um, and so I definitely want to spend some time there. And while I'm in Tennessee, I might as well go see my friend Chris and Heidi, um, hang out at Parnassus Books. Uh, this one which is a pretty cool independent bookstore. Um, I also really like their Books A Million, um, and it's got CDs and comics and everything else, so a um, big collection of vinyl also. So I'd probably spend time there as well. Um, from Kansas, I'm sorry, from Tennessee, I would head to Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I'm a sucker for barbecue, and uh, my wife and I lived there for a while, so I would definitely hit Jack Stacks. Um, I like the Overland Park location. Uh, they have like the beef ribs and the burnt ends. Um, there's a Sheridan's frozen custard there. Uh, but downtown Kansas City Mo, um, there's Prospero Books, uh, which is a cool independent bookstore there as well. I'd keep heading west and find my way over to Colorado Springs where my friend Mike Johnson lives. 
and uh, go to Poor Richard's Bookstore in Colorado Springs. Um, they also have a place called Hooked on Books um, that I remember, God, it's been a long time. Uh, when we lived in Kansas City, Missouri, I went out that way, um, and I remember checking that out as well. So um, I'm sure there's lots of other places I could go. Uh, my dream, though, would be to fly to Portland, check out Powell's, uh, a place I've only ever heard about but never visited, and um, get a chance to meet some of those West Coast authors that I like. Um, I would probably continue, maybe a, a, maybe a take a convertible, I mean, why not, and head down the Pacific Coast Highway, uh, end up at City Lights. Uh, this is actually a picture from when Gail and I went there in 2007, um, you know, published Ginsburg's Howell and a slew of other poets, um, gorgeous bookstore. Um, head to Los Angeles, hang with my friend Khan, who introduced me to the last bookstore, um, and the, like, the big arc of books and that kind of stuff. I was there just last year, um, that was a really cool place, first time I had been there, um, but it would definitely be a, a great place to stop, and probably also see my friend Amanda while I was out there. Um, and since I'm in California, I may as well head to Coronado, um, where I was lucky enough to crash for <laughs> a couple of trips to Comic-Con. Um, Bay Books is the place that I dig there. Um, uh, I think they just moved not that long ago. Uh, there used to be a really nice, uh, crepe store right around the corner. Um, but that's closed. That was, um, Faberson's. Um, and then there's a coffee shop, kind of like diner called Clayton's, um, that I like. And, uh, of course you're... Uh, there I would definitely have like some fe um, fish tacos um, for sure so um, again dream budget I would head to Hilo and um, over here you could go to Still Life Book and Vinyl um, and it's a relatively small shop but they have a great collection of stuff that would be a lot of fun to hang out at um, from there I would probably make a stop in Austin and go to Book People um, I went to Austin a couple of years ago for the um, MLA conference, and I just walked all over the place. It was an awesome town, and um, went to Book People, and it was an amazing store, just beautiful, uh, the way it was decorated and spread out. Um, but then I'd head back home. Uh, currently, home is in Minnesota, and so I would definitely go and hang out at Excelsior Bay Books, um, over in Minnetonka, Excelsior area. Um, this was one of the first bookstores in Minnesota that I went to. Um, and honestly, I don't remember why I ended up being over there. Um, but I found a signed copy of Shotgun Love Songs, um, before I met Nick Butler or New Pamela. Um, both people I associate with this area as well. Uh, even though Nick, I know, is Wisconsin, but, um, seems to spend enough time over this way. Um, my new recent discovery, um, well recent new to the area is Irreverent Bookworm. Um, they opened just last year and Gail and the kids and I went there and got to sign the countertop and they have hilarious uh, organization system and um, and that would be a fun place to go. Um, they have been doing free shipping during COVID for people in Minnesota um, and we've definitely taken advantage of that and they've kept us reading over the days as well. So. Um, to finish off, I'd go to Magers and Quinn, and, um, which is just, um, if you've never been there, it's a wonderful place right downtown, um, and I would probably also go to Fig and Farrow, which is one of my favorite restaurants down there. Uh, there's also Dogwood Coffee uh, right across the street from Magers and Quinn, and um, that, would be, that would be my book tour. That would be amazing. Um, of course... Um, the budget for that would be outlandish, and um, anybody would be probably crazy to send me on it, but that would be where I would go if I could. Um, I would also like to say, all these places I've mentioned are independent book companies that are hugely important to me. And, you know, my book is published through Amazon, um, but that doesn't mean that's the way you have to buy it. You can buy it through IndieBound, uh, which is a great service that helps support independent bookstores. Um, and I'll be sure to include a link for that as well. So thanks so much. Thanks for joining me on the tour. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll set up a card table someplace uh, with a stack of books and you'll find me in some neighborhood. Thanks. Stay safe.